Hi all, welcome back to Soccer Perspective Individual Training. Today we'll be focusing on ball mastery for all positions. To start off, our first exercise of the eight, we're gonna do inside of our foot to inside of our foot. We stay on our toes, we're just lightly tapping the ball back from our left to our right and right to our left. Then we have the alternated sole dribble. And here we're using the bottom of our feet and we're trying to move it as quickly as possible. As you guys can see, I'm moving my head left and right, looking around because you don't want to just be dribbling with your feet, we're looking at your feet. And as you guys can see at the bottom right, I put the suggested reps, which is 50 to 100, one to two sets and rest time as much as you need. Here we have the right foot inside to outside foot. And as you guys can see, I'm using the outside of my foot to push the ball and then quickly bringing it in with my right. This is good for any player to cut, to push the ball outside and then fake to go inside. As you guys can see, I'm trying to take as many touches as possible, but being very gentle, the ball is moving left and right is not really moving diagonally. Um, obviously, we're going to also do our left foot as this is important to be able to be comfortable on both sides of the ball. Similarly to the previous skills we did, we have the alternating inside to outside. And again, we're using the inside of our foot and then pushing it with the outside of our foot. And then we're switching our hips so that we can go on to the other side. And again, any position that you're in on the field, you will find yourself having to do this if you're comfortable using both your left to the right. Then we have the Cruyff turn. As you guys can see, I put a little picture of the player that made it really famous, Johan Cruyff, a player that represented the national team of Netherlands, as well as Barcelona, Ajax, and the LA Aztecs in the United States. This turn, I recently started incorporating it into my training. Um, that was as a suggestion from my coach who was obsessed with it and I find that it's very useful to change the point of attack whether that is going to the left and then maybe perhaps pinging the ball to your winger or maybe sneaking in a pass in between the lines. So again, a very useful turn. Then we have the alternating push to soul drag and you'll find that at the professional level, this really basic skill is used so often. You'll see goalies getting the ball from the center back and then they'll get the long ball up. Then we have the center backs trying to play the midfielders. And it's very simple. You're, all you're doing is pushing the ball with the outside of your foot, then you're stepping and then you're going the opposite direction. So you make sure that obviously you're looking around you so that you're you're not focusing on your feet and that it helps you see the field better. The alternating L turn, I find that is one of the most underrated skills of the game. That is because you can do so many things with it and I see that a lot of players should be using it, but they're not comfortable. You can pass the ball from it you can also get out of pressure whether you have somebody in front of you or someone behind you or both someone in front of you and someone behind you 
you can get use it to get out of difficult situations and keep the and retain possession and get your pass off or another dribble. To finish up our session, I have Messi's favorite, perhaps most efficient skill, which is the shoulder drop. And essentially all you're doing is shifting your body weight to pretend that you're going one direction and then you go in the opposite. And as you guys can see, I'm taking very little touches. Again, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for the next video.